In today's video, we will discuss five of the most confusing syndromes of kidney, which include Barter syndrome, Jitterman syndrome, Liddell syndrome, pseudohyperaldosteronism type 1, and pseudohyperaldosteronism type 2. First, we will discuss the basic nephrology, which will gain you the concept why certain syndromes cause hypokalemia or hyperkalemia. So, stay tuned and watch this video till end. Firstly, we start off by looking at the basic label diagram of a nephron that includes Bowman's capsule, glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and cortical collecting duct. In this video or in these syndromes, we are cons considering only the portion that starts from thick ascending limb of Henle to the cortical collecting duct. In thick limb of loop of Henle, we have NAK2CL transporter at apical or luminal or the urine creating side which moves one sodium, one potassium and two chloride ions into the blood from the lumen. Loop diuretics inhibits this channel. At basolateral side or blood side, we have 3NA2K ATPase channel which moves three sodium towards blood in exchange of two potassium towards the urine side. In distal convoluted tubule, NaCl co-transporter which moves sodium and chloride together from lumen towards the blood and thiazide diuretic is the diuretic which inhibits this channel. In cortical collecting duct, ENAC is the channel that moves sodium into the blood from the lumen or urine side and potassium sparing diuretic like amyloride inhibits this channel. We also have a channel named ROMC which excretes potassium towards the urine from the blood side. Now consider if one of these channels doesn't work or overworks, then other must compensate for it. For example, when there is low NAK2Cl activity in thick portion of ascending limb of Henle, ENAC will move more sodium in the blood under the action of aldosterone. ROMC will excrete more potassium in the urine and more potassium goes out, there is hypokalemia. Similarly, when there is low NACL activity in distal convoluted tubule, ENAC channel in the cortical collecting duct will move more sodium in the blood under the action of aldosterone again. ROMC will excrete more potassium in the urine and more potassium goes out from the blood side, there is hypokalemia. Now consider when there is high ENAC activity in cortical collecting duct itself, ENAC will move more sodium in the blood, ROMC will excrete more potassium in the urine and more potassium goes out, there is hypokalemia. But in this case, there will be no increased aldosterone as ENAC activity is increased by itself. Now consider there is high NACL channel activity in distal convoluted tubule. Now ENAC will not absorb any sodium, ROMC will not excrete potassium as more sodium is lost in urine and not gets reabsorbed, there is hyponatremia and there is no excretion of potassium, so more potassium is in the blood resulting in hyperkalemia. Now as in previous situation, when there is low ENAC activity in cortical collecting duct by itself, ENAC will not absorb sodium, ROMC will not excrete potassium again, as more sodium is lost in urine, there is hyponatremia, there is no excretion of potassium by ROMC. So we have hyperkalemia in the blood. Now if you look at the diagram in front of you, if we have defect in thick limb of loop of Henle, we have Barter syndrome. If we have defect in distal convoluted tubule, we can either have Jittelman syndrome or Gordon syndrome which is also called pseudohyperaldosteronism type 2 which is basically due to hyperactivity of channel which we will discuss later. Again in cortical collecting duct, we can have pseudohyperaldosteronism type 1 or Liddell syndrome which is also hyperactivity of channel. Now to understand syndromes better, we divide six main features of the syndromes. Number one is position, second one is channel name, third one is channel activity, fourth one is action of diuretic, fifth one is features, sixth one is mnemonic. So we start off by Barter syndrome. This is basically defect in thick ascending loop of Henle and the channel that is affected is NAK2CL and activity of the channel is reduced and the action of diuretic that acts like this one is loop diuretic. The features we have is hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, hypotension and some extra features include sensory neural hearing loss and hypercalciuria. The mnemonic we have is battle. 
so for b we have barter for t we have thick ascending loop of henle for other t we have three channel that is nak 2cl and for l we have loop diuretic now again if you look at the picture we discussed earlier when there is low activity of NAK2CL in thick portion of ascending limb of Henle the ENAC channel in the cortical collecting duct under the action of aldosterone tries to move more sodium from the urine or apical side into or towards the blood and more potassium is excreted from the wrong channel into the urine causing hypokalemia in Gittelman syndrome we have defect in the position of early distal convoluted tubule. The channel that is affected is co-transporter of NACL and the activity of channel is reduced and the action that mimics like this is thiazide diuretic and the features that we have is hypokalemia again which have metabolic alkalosis, normal hypotension and extra features include hypocalcemia. As we have discussed earlier, when there is low activity in NACL channel of the distal convoluted tubule, the ENAC channel of the cortical collecting duct under the action of aldosterone will try to move more sodium into the blood and will excrete more potassium from the blood to the urine side from the wrong channel and this will result in hypokalemia in the blood. Next we have is Liddell syndrome and the position of the channel is in cortical collecting duct and the name of the channel is ENAC and channel activity is basically increased and features that we have is hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, hypertension that is responsive to amyloride which we will discuss in a second and mnemonic we have is little is more. For little we have little acts on channel of only one electrolyte that is sodium more is for more ENAC activity that is hyperactivity of channel and more again we have is more BP that is hypertension. So as we have discussed earlier when there is high ENAC activity in cortical collecting duct by itself there is no need of aldosterone so there will not, there will not be raised aldosterone in this situation and ENAC will move more sodium in and excrete more potassium out which will result in hypokalemia and now if we have case pairing diuretic that inhibits the ENAC channel the sodium influx from the urine towards the blood will reduce that's why amyloride treats the hypertension caused by Liddell syndrome. Next we have a pseudo hypoaldosteronism type 1 and the position is basically in the cortical collecting duct and the channel we have is ENAC and the channel activity is reduced and this is opposite to the Liddell syndrome and this act as a diuretic case pairing diuretic mimics the action of case pairing diuretic and features that we have is hyperkalemia metabolic acidosis and hypotension and the mnemonic is that it is opposite to the Liddell syndrome so ENAC activity is reduced and we have low blood pressure so as we have discussed earlier when there is low ENAC activity in the cortical collecting duct itself it will not move the sodium from the urine into the blood which will cause the hyponatremia it will not excrete the pot potassium from the blood uh, through the wrong channel into the urine which will result in hyperkalemia in the blood and this acts basically as case pairing diuretic last one we have is pseudo hypoaldosteronism type 2 or Gordon syndrome the position of the defect is in early DCT like we had in Gittelman syndrome early DCT the channel name is same uh, we have NACL co-transporter as we had in Gittelman but the channel activity in pseudo hypoaldosteronism type 2 or Gordon syndrome is increased whereas it was reduced in Gittelman syndrome so this acts as no diuretic features include hyperkalemia metabolic acidosis that is hyper chloremic metabolic acidosis and we have hypertension that is responsive to thiazide diuretic and the mnemonic is for the Gordon Ramsay thigh so we have hypertension that Gordon Ramsay is very hyperactive so he has hypertension and he likes salt we have NACL channel in the DCT and thigh is for thiazide diuretic so as we have discussed earlier when there is high NACL activity in distal convoluted tubule no sodium will move 
from the urine into the blood so causing hyponatremia type symptoms and no potassium is excreted that will result in hyperkalemia and as the NaCl channel activity is inhibited by thiazide diuretic so hyperactivity of the channel is treated also by thiazide diuretic and this will respond or decrease the hypertension caused from the uh, pseudo hyperaldosteronism type 2 or Gordon syndrome. Now few important points hypokalemia is accompanied by metabolic alkalosis whereas hyperkalemia is accompanied by metabolic acidosis and there is low aldosterone uh, state if one channel doesn't work other will compensate as we have discussed earlier hyperactivity of the channel will cause hypertension we also have another important point that can help you remember that Gordon Ramsay is gentleman both start with G and both have the same channel that is NACL channel so remember that Gordon, Rem Gordon syndrome and gentleman syndrome both act on the NACL channel of DCT we also have an important point for the little syndrome that little one acts so for little we have little syndrome and one is for pseudo hyperaldosteronism type 1 and they both act on the ENAC channel of the cortical collecting duct. Now if you look at potassium wasting syndrome if we have higher renin or aldosterone then it is either Barter syndrome or gentleman syndrome. If we have low renin or aldosterone then we have little syndrome. If in the potassium sparing we have pseudo hypoaldosteronism type 1 and pseudo hypoaldosteronism type 2 that is Gordon syndrome. If you have any question regarding this video you can ask in the comments and if you like the video please subscribe and share it. Thank you.